Hello, this is a quick video overview of the new Yeelight AK-47. If you'd like to see a full review, you can click on the link in the description below. So, uh, the AK-47 um, is, a, as you can see, it's one of Yeelight's new lights. Uh, it's got uh, both a rear switch and a side switch. We'll show you how those work in just a minute here. Um, it uses a Cree XML emitter. Uh, you can see that in there, and it's got a, a smooth reflector and a kind of a medium to large size head. It's uh, bigger than you know a lot of flashlights, but uh, kind of smaller than a lot, maybe uh, the two 18650 lights like this one. Um, so it's got pretty good throw, uh, but it's also got uh, some decent flood and spill as well. So it's not a completely dedicated thrower. Uh, it can be used for kind of medium range to long range tasks as, as well. Uh, so you can see there's some uh, heat dissipation fins cut into the head there, uh, help increase the surface area, um, move the heat away from the, the emitter and the circuitry. Um, also some notches there for your fingers when you're holding it, give it some good grip. Uh, you can see the side switch uh, has a stainless steel ring there around that rubber cover. Um, the E-Lite logo there, uh, the body's knurled, gives you some good grip again. It's got this uh, grip ring on the tail uh, that not only helps you hold on to it real tight, but also keeps the light from rolling quite as much as it would otherwise. Um, you can see it's got a uh, crenellated tail cap where those crenellations come up beyond the uh, switch, so the AK-47 can do a good stable tail sand. It's a little bit top heavy just from being so long, um, but yeah, so if you uh, click the side switch in the back, or the, I'm sorry, the rear switch, that's what turns the light on and off. And that's all that uh, rear switch does is just turn it on and off. So you can hold it about halfway down and you'll have momentary on just until you release it again. Or you can click it into position and it'll stay on until you press the button. Um, so while the light is on, you cycle through modes by pressing the side switch. So I press it here. Let's see, we'll start out. This is low, medium, high, and then SOS and turbo. So those are the modes that are available in the regular sequence. You just select which one you want by clicking the side switch until you get there. And whichever of these modes you pick, if you leave it there, when you turn it back off and you turn it back on, it'll remember the mode you used last and come back on in that mode. Um, also, when it's on, no matter what mode it's in, if you hold down on the side switch for about a second, it goes into a strobe mode, a uh, pretty fast strobe and pretty high high brightness there. Um, so those are the modes that are available. Uh, we can open it up and take a look. You can see in the head it has a spring there to make contact with the battery. It uses two 18650 sized uh, cells or four CR123. Um, then let's show you inside the tail as well another spring. Uh, so with the springs on both ends it uh, helps accommodate uh, some variation in battery length and also <clears throat> helps uh, protect your batteries in the case of an impact. So as you can see there's also, uh, it's not just a solid body but it has an extender. Um, so if you take that out, you can leave that out and just run the AK-47 off of a single 18650. It comes a, a slightly more uh, smaller light. Um, a little bit more pocketable and uh, portable uh, with just a little bit less power. Um, and again, if you look at the review, you can see how the uh, runtime and output compare in the turbo mode with both of those. So this has been a uh, quick video overview of the Yeelight AK-47. And again, if you'd like to see the full review, you can just check out the link in the description below.